My friends, I'm telling you about, um, like I talk about the, the article things that happened years ago, but let me tell you something. Uh, one of my dear friends, I mean dear friends, that guy, Dave Draper, very, very popular bodybuilder, won a lot of titles. But one of the nicest human. We're so close. It's, 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 it should be a rep, it should be a law against it. When I was working for Joe, um, Joe hired Dave Draper, and we were trained in the back room. And 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 I remember how Dave used to like to do his barbell, you know, the barbell curls and the presses, and you know all the regular exercises we would do, and we would like sort of almost like semi-compete with each other, but I was, I'm, I'm older than, I'm, I'm 10 years older than Dave, because, you know, I'm, a, I'm the man, you know, <laughs> I mean, I was, you know, bigger and all that at the time than Dave, but Dave went on to, to really, he, he made movies and, you know, but what I like about him, he has such a heart, such a feeling. We get along, I mean, I never forget the time when I had my thyroid operation. When I came back from Europe, I had a thyroid. My thyroid had went crazy, and I and 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 uh, Dave would bring the hospital went crazy had to operate on it, take part of it out, and Dave would was we working for Joe Weider then with Jay Dave Jerry Winnick and a few other guys, and Harold Poole, uh, and you probably never heard him. He was a terrific bodybuilder, also very. So in any case. Dave would get the guys together and bring food and fruit and money, you know, because I wasn't, it wasn't working there, you know, and Joe didn't have, un, there was no unemployment insurance at the time. So these guys would put together the money because I was married too. What, it's a good thing my wife was working, the telephone company, I'd have been a deep dude. But Joe would have helped me out. I just didn't think of, uh, uh, oh, Joe, he did that for God. Joe was sending me uh, 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 a check when I was in the hospital. I was in the hospital a couple, oh, about uh, two weeks. I don't know, maybe a week or so. And then I had to, uh, I convalesced at home, but when I was in the hospital, and when I, uh, Dave guys would get together, they bring baskets of fruit. They even bring, brought money. And I mean, just terrific guys, but we just enjoyed so. And um, Dave went to with Joe to California, but I didn't. I stayed here and I opened up the stores and things went, you know, good for me. But he went with Joe because Joe moved the whole operation. Joe's the mat, Joe was the publisher of all the pre, the premier magazines at that time, you know, Flags, Your Physique, and Muscle Power, and all that kind of stuff. He was the he was the publisher of the magazines, and he was uh, I mean he was the guru of all bodybuilding. But in any case, Dave Draper. All I get now, and one thing about now, right now, Dave is um, you know retired, of course, from competition. But he has that his protein he calls uh, Bomber Blend. It's a, a, a combination of the things we learned when we were training. Because at that time, when I was training, but the premier protein powder for us was called Rio H. Blair um, Milk and Egg Protein. And, and we used to gobble that, I mean, we used to use that like it was uh, cold water. <laughs> you know what I mean? So much that we used. But the most important thing about Dave, is, and you know the most important thing? You know, we were, our routines were the same every other day, full body. Now, sometimes we didn't get a chance to do the full body, and we would maybe do the upper body one day, and the, uh, the lower body the next. Then we arrest the day. We used to do that, you know. And then we would, when we could, we do the full body. We didn't have because we were training while we were working at Joe. We all worked in the shipping department, you know. So we didn't have the time to do all all the time do all the training we'd want to do. But it's not only J. Dave Draper's body. That so it's him as a human being. I mean, we talk all the time, you know. He talks about the problems he had, you know, in adjusting himself, psychologically, some of the things. But you couldn't find a better friend, a nicer guy, and a bigger heart as Dave Draper. And I know what I'm talking about. You know what's the funny thing? 
I talk to Dave at least three times a month. And uh, we keep in touch. And I'm talking about all these guys and the man that really, I just took, didn't realize how important Dave was in the bodybuilding. And, um, and you know something to be, and I got to ask Dave that I'm actually embarrassed. We never talk steroid. I don't, I don't think, I don't recall Dave using it. I, I have, you know, isn't that amazing? We, we just so into talking and everything. We never talk because you see, I don't think he, I don't know. I don't think Dave ever used it because now, of course, he's not using anything, you know, I mean, you know, of course, at our age, we're not, we're retired from the, the thought of competition. But Dave, um, I don't recall ever talking to Dave about steroids. And if he used it, it was memorable. But I got to, I'm right now, I, I got to ask it myself, <laughs> to be honest. But we just never talked about it for some reason. We knew it was up, but we never talked about it in relation to him. He knew I didn't use it. I assume he didn't use it, you know. And if he, and if he did, which I don't think he did, it, it, it wasn't sure. I, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it, but he had terrific body, won a lot of titles. But when you're a good friend of a man like you, uh, him and I, we're like, you know, we talk about so many other things, you know, life and marriage and what's going on, and we, we talk about everything, you know. And uh, we never got into basically uh, whether he ever took steroids, because I mean, Dave, I, I, I'm going to have to ask him, but I, I don't believe it. I don't believe he did because I know him too well and I know how he built that he didn't have that steroid look, you see. But I uh, I said, you know, and the first thing, I can't even tell you anything magical about Dave's training because it is no magic, my friend. There's nothing special. Routines, I mean, you know, we... We just worked our muscle. We did the basics. You know, we didn't do all. It was nothing out of the, the stratosphere that we could pick up. Nothing science fiction. It's just basic. And we did the basics. We did the wide grip bench press. We did the curl. We did the, all the basic exercises. And you can see how Dave, Dave built up fantastic. Won a lot of titles. I, I, didn't, I only won two titles because I only hit the two contests in my life, you know, because I got hurt and that was the end of that. But anyhow, I just wanted to let you know, and I, that's the thing that makes me feel so good. I go back, read, I know what it is, what it is to body, I know the bodybuilders and how they train and how the difference in the look, look up and enthusiasm that we have today, we didn't have that. And you know something? I get so annoyed these guys are old school. Like we're talking about the, the trolley car or the horse and buggy. I mean, come on. Old school. Well, what's the new school? I, I want these guys to keep hollering old school to tell me what's new. In this new school of theirs. The only thing that's new is the proliferation of the drugs. That's the only thing that's new. And, of course, the understanding of, of the supplementation and how your body can respond so quicker and recover so much faster with maximizing your nutrition. But this old school stuff gets me, I, I hear so much of, you know, sometimes I get, I shouldn't get annoyed, I guess I'm getting old, that's what it is. They, they sit back there, they're old school. Like in other words, they were ancient exercises that they don't use, they got some kind of new magical exercise now, you know? But in any case, I wanted to just tell you about my, and I, and I feel impressed, I've met my friend Dave, you know, I take Dave for granted, you know. Dave was a champion bodybuilder, you know, and a great thing to me, a great guy. I mean, you couldn't find a better friend than Dave, a great guy. We got along fantastic, you know, and uh, he was, we, and we talk so much about, we have so much feeling for each other, you know, and he, he'd give me deep insight to his feelings in, in life and how he responded to life, and how he was in the, had this problem with looking at him for being happy with himself. But I won't get all into that, into that. He had a problem of feeling happy with Dave. And I used to feel, oh, I used to say, 
Dave, you got everything going for you. You know, all American boy. You know, I mean, it was fascinating to me. But he was just that laid back type of guy. But a beautiful man. I mean it. So that's my take on my good friend Dave. And he don't even know I made this video. And I'm embarrassed I haven't made it earlier. Well, my friends, to be continued.